He was so gratuitously rude, because like all British hoteliers, he operated on the principle that I could run this hotel properly if it wasn't for the guests. You know, and if he behaved badly, it was rude, it was the guest's fault. You know what I mean? Because they were these awkward people who would come up and ask questions and complain about things. And he would sit at his desk and uh, staring into space. And the moment he saw someone coming, he would pretend to be busy. He'd pick up a pencil and start doing all this stuff. Because I watched him once. And he does this, you see. And, and, and then he would pretend he didn't even know you were there. And you'd have to stand there for ages thinking, does he know I'm there? And then he'd say, excuse me. He'd say, oh, what? <laughs> Oh, what? What is it now? <laughs> and uh, I remember one occasion I said to him, could you call me a taxi? He said, what? I said, could you, could you call me a taxi? He said, call you a taxi? And I said, yes, could you? He said, oh, yes, fine, yes, leave it to me, I'll do it. <laughs> so there was this extraordinary rude and grudging attitude towards the guest. Now, he was quite small physically, and Mrs. Sinclair was sizable. So it was more obviously the sort of hen-pecked husband situation by reversing it, because I couldn't be small, obviously, and Prue is not very tall. We kind of took it away a little bit from the more obvious aspects of, uh, of the hen-pecked husband. But he went on and on in this way, and we did kind of garner material. I mean, oh, i tell you one extraordinary thing, Eric, um, one day, Eric and I were waiting for the car to take us filming, and Eric left his briefcase uh, by the door where he'd propped it up while we were just playing catch with a tennis ball. And when he got back, he went up to the desk and Sinclair saw him come here. <laughs> Excuse me, what? What is it now? He said, I'd left the, uh, my briefcase. He said, yes, yes, he said, it's the other side of the wall. And he pointed out of the, out of the front door uh, to a white wall. It was the far side of a swimming pool. And he said, it's behind the wall. And Eric said, what? He said, what? He said, what? He said, it was behind the wall. He said, yes, yes, I'll put it behind the wall. Eric said, well, why did, you, why did you put it, what? Why did you put it behind the, behind the wall? He said, we thought it might be a bomb. And we <laughs> a bomb? And Sinclair said, well, we've had a lot of staff problems recently. So you really thought somebody'd fired and come back and put a bomb in a briefcase? <laughs>